Hello everyone, welcome back to the, another video. In this video, I will show you how to create the RESTful APIs using the Drupal views. Using the RESTful APIs, we can share the data from our website to the external websites or the applications. So for that, I have already created this employee data content type. And in that employee data content type, there are fields like as name, email, gender, ID, and the status of the employee. And the data is looks like this. I will show you by editing this data. And in this example, we will create the RESTful web service to share the or expose this data to the external applications. To create the RESTful APIs, first we need to enable the two modules. First is the RESTful web services, and the second is the serialization. So make sure to enable these two models and now we will create the view which will create the RESTful API for the employee details. So for that we will go to the structure and click on view and create the new view for that click on this add view button. Our view name will be the employee API. We want to show the data from the employee data content type for that we have selected the employee data content type and uh, here is the option to uh, create the restful api so click on this provide a rest export and the uh, url for that is api slash employee so this will be the endpoint to access the api data click on save and edit so right now it is showing the format as an entity so this is the default format now we want to get the output in the format of the fields or that change the entity to the field click on apply title you can add the alias as well so for the title field we will give alias as the employee name click on apply button now it will show the employee name one field so here you can see the, we are getting the data for the employee name and uh, there are some extra characters as well added so we just want this name only for that again go to the field settings click on this raw output and apply so uh, here you can see we are getting the employee name Again, we will add the one more field that is the email. So, email field which is available in the employee data content type. So, the employee email field is as well added. Right now, it is showing the field underscore email as a field name. We will change it by clicking this settings and uh, change it to the employee underscore email so next is the in which format you want the output from the api so for that click on the settings there are three options csv json and uh, xml we want the output in the format of json for that select on the json and click on apply click on the save button to save the view changes now our view is ready this we will change the display name to the employee data so i will show you the output in the postman for so that i will copy this my local host url and the endpoint will be api slash employee And click on send button so here you can see we are getting the output in the json format first is the employee name and the second field is the employee email so right now it is showing the 10 details again we will change the paginations 
for that we will show the pager we will add this mini pager you click on apply the pager will not be visible here but uh, we can access that using the rest api call suppose now you want to access the next 10 records for that you can add the question query parameter as a page equal to one and click on same to show the it is now showing the next 10 record here you can see the first record is dharma ketu and again i will change it to the two second page show the next 10 record if you don't have the postman you can get this data by click on this in a browser so right now it is showing the first 10 records and again if you want to sh show the next 10 records you can add the query parameter as the page equal to 1 so now you want to page the any particular record for the particular any employee so how can we do that for that again we will uh, duplicate this view and uh, in that view i will show you how to get the particular employee by its id employee api for employee api by id so duplicate it so uh, we will add the id from the url in that parameter you are in the url we need to add the slash and the percent so percent will be the our id click on this apply now we will add the one contextual filter to get the id and the search that data so search for the id field select this id in the content click on add and configure contextual filter Oh, and next is the provide default value and get that value from the content id from the url click on apply you can click on save the view is saved now go to the content and uh, for this content the node id is 585 We'll copy this and we'll search and we'll check if the we are getting the details for this particular node ID. So here you can see we are getting the details for this uh, 585 node ID, employee name and the employee email. Same node ID I will search in the postman as well. So for that and after that we need to add the node id you can see we are getting the output for that particular node here i will change it to the another node id so here are the records we are getting for those particular node ids so in this tutorial we have created two types of the apis first is the restful api which will show the 10 records from the node and uh, next api we have created is the page the data for particular node id like 582 that's it from this video i hope uh, this video is useful for you please like the video and subscribe the channel if you have any query or suggestions you can add in the comment thank you for watching